Hey, welcome to the Mariah Report. I'm Martin Burgess. And I'm Dan Enriquez. It's the summer edition here at yes, TMR. The holiday vacation yeah. edition. <laughs> and it's hot. It's hot outside. It's hot here in Los Angeles. It's hot in New York. It's hot in Europe. Yes, it was hot in Italy. Mm-hmm. Mariah was swimming in, in uh, the water over there. Yes, she was. Yes, of course, in a gown. Back in Capri. Absolutely. So we'll uh, touch upon that. But that's really all we got for Mariah this week. Kind of. But, you know, I think with this heat wave circulating, that uh, meme gif of her fanning herself in the Dolce & Gabbana dress is mm. circulating a lot. Yes. So we like that. It's it's working in our benefit. It is. She's getting a lot of social media traction. It's coming handy. So we do enjoy that. I actually finally saw the Dolce & Gabbana um, fashion show on YouTube. Oh, yes. So, yeah. You watched it? The whole thing. Yeah. You see how it was very like, um, you know, uh, veils. Bales, widows, uh-huh. gowns, church. <laughs> Bales, widows, and gowns. Yeah. Yes. But very beautiful. It's, mm-hmm. I think it's, it was really well produced. I think definitely I recommend watching it. Yeah. I mean, it was a very artful show. Yeah. Beautiful music. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Mariah was there sitting in the heat the whole time. Yes, she was. Yes, she was. But remember, I think last week we were saying, uh, you know, like what from this collection would Mariah wear? I didn't, again, did you see anything that Mariah would like really wear? Like she she would have to like change it or alter it, you know, for her. I know. You know, and I don't need Mariah in like a, uh, like a black veil looking all, you know. That could be cute on stage. Uh, I don't know. Doing that look with like looking in or something. Okay. Maybe something like that. Because I need more, production-wise on the stage, I need more of those moments, more concepts. Yeah, well, well, I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) Not that it's happening anytime soon. Exactly. So we we have plenty of time to plan, 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 and come up with ideas. So we'll see. Yeah. Um, But 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 do you think Mariah was looking at this fashion show going, hmm, I wonder which one I can go swimming in? (laughs) <laughs> she keeps getting in the water with these gowns i know it's wild it's wild <laughs> that was a swimwear collection for her right yeah. these bejeweled gowns in the water that's yeah that's swimwear for mariah yeah. it's so so interesting but she looked gorgeous and super cute now that was she posted on instagram and everything um of her in the water she's back in capri yeah it's been a while. Now, how, when was the last time that we've seen her there? It's yeah. been years. Like the first thing that comes to my mind is the hashtag beautiful Hermosa uh, with oh, Miguel, yeah, that yeah. video. That, right. that, and that was how many years ago? I was just playing with some truth on the way over here. Isn't that, yep, great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I was connecting it to Capri somehow. Exactly. Uh, I would agree with you. So that's what, at least 10 years? Is it 10 years since that beautiful? sounds about right? 2012, 2013? 13. Nine, nine years. Yeah. Almost 10 years. Wow. Mm-hmm. Well, she's been busy, but I like that she went back. She went back there. Um, we have nostalgic moments at Capri. Exactly. Yeah. All the, all the rainbow moments. That's how we could tell it was summertime. A rainbow moments. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. <laughs> with Luis Miguel. Oh, right. Right. Yes. Now, okay. So we got a bunch of like sort of footage of her that we saw on social media of her like walking into the restaurant, some of her favorite restaurants that she's been to many, many times over the years. Yeah. And she always takes pictures, you know, with the owners, the chef, you know, family, patrons, whoever. Yeah. And they put them up on the wall and they're always there. And they had this huge one of Mariah from all the uh, moments that she's been there. A collage. Yes. And one of them had a picture of her and Luis Miguel. I think there's right. two. Oh, they? was there? Maybe I two. think I only saw like one in the top corner, but maybe I missed one. I, they might, I think there's two stacked on each other. Okay. Okay. Yes. So that was interesting. He's a big superstar. He is. Honey, please. And those were years ago. That was mm-hmm. ge- generations ago. Now, there was an interesting photo that I had never seen, and it looked like glitter era, maybe charm bracelet era with a ripped t-shirt, and it might have said France on it. Uh-huh. Have uh-huh. you ever seen that photo? I have seen that photo. Where's that from? I'm not quite sure. It's from Capri. <laughs> <laughs> Still in Capri. This is from Capri, but I've seen, I feel like maybe that's the photo I've seen. Oh. You know what I mean? Because I've seen those photos uh, that they have hanging on the wall. Oh, you have? You know, if you go to the, if you go to their like Instagram or something, oh. they have like those photos of Mariah from back in the day. 
Gotcha. So maybe that's where I've seen it. Or it's, you know, the good old Mariah Network. Shout out to the Mariah Network, honey, because they got everything. So I may have seen it when I, because you know, I've looked at every single photo on there. Mm -hmm. So maybe I've seen it there. Yeah. <laughs> what era was that? Rainbow. Rainbow. No, 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 no. Charm bracelet. Charm okay. bracelet. Charm the bracelet. hair was very charm bracelet. Yes, it's charm bracelet. And she was like super like fit. Uh huh. Yeah. Charm bracelet was a good like fit era for her. Yes, it was. Yeah. She was like given abs, uh -huh. all kinds of things. She was. Ooh, she looked good. Yes. Those are, those but then there were days. some questionable moments. But didn't she record a lot of charm bracelet over in Capri? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. She's a local yeah. over there. But yeah. Oh, honey, everyone knows her. Yeah. Everyone. It's everyone. a small island. Mm -hmm. So then you think, okay, well, the last time she was there, she had just had the kids. So they were like little babies still. Mm hmm. So this was the first time that they were coming back. And so Mariah was almost like introducing them, mm. you know, to her, you know, good pals. I wonder if she snuck over there a few times without us knowing. I mean, possibly. No, we would have known. They would have taken us pictures. <laughs> <laughs> no, we would have known. Yeah. yeah no. The locals would have been snapping up pictures. Yeah. You know? No. But I, I, I yeah, because I don't remember Mariah going to Italy for any reason in the past few years, at least. What about the caution tour? Italy. Did she hit Did they Italy? Go to Italy? Possibly. I'm forgetting. But I don't think, I don't know. I'd have to, girl, I have to go back and look at the records. I don't know. <laughs> um, it's been some times, but it was like a nice homecoming. I know, but you were watching that video of her walking through the shops or whatever, like the rest, going to the, through the restaurant and they're playing hero and everyone's mm -hmm, clapping and walking mm -hmm. like she did something. <laughs> she right. just showed up. And no, a good time. That, that was so sweet. It was it like was a nice. nice welcome. I know. Oh, I, liked I loved it. it. I loved it. They love Mariah over there. Mm -hmm. They love Mariah over there. Now, can we talk about um, some of the fashions? That well, now we've already sort of talked about the fashions, but um, you know, we were talking last week about her and Chris Jenner, oh, and yeah. then she's wearing like that Dolce and Gabbana robe all the time. Yes, yes. She's still wearing that robe, girl. She took it off the rack. Girl, she's just wearing it everywhere she goes. It's not a robe, actually. It is a pantsuit, by the way. Okay. <laughs> and I did confirm that because I, when you look close when she's walking, you can tell that there it's separate legs, okay. two legs. <laughs> Good to know. Yes. It must be comfortable. It must be. It looks very luxurious and comfortable. So I'm like, all right, girl. But like, that's like her new like go-to ensemble. Yes. But there was also that beautiful necklace that she had worn. Did you see that? No, which one? Oh, girl, it was the one that she wore with when Kris Jenner was there. Oh. And it is um, a 100 karat yellow pear-shaped diamond that hangs from it, but it's all diamonds. Oh, we're going to have to look oh, it up. Oh, yeah, I know the one. I know yeah, the yeah, one. yeah. It's, I guess apparently it's a Dolce & Gabbana necklace, but I didn't know they was in jewels like that. But Oh, it's a Dolce & Gabbana necklace? That's, that's what it said. Oh, wow. Yeah. But it's, it was fabulous. It's probably priceless. Of course, maybe it's on loan. Oh, well, well, yes, because then I saw her and she did not have it on later. And I was like, yeah, they should have went, that went right back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you know, I saw, I got targeted for an ad. Oh, Masterclass. Oh yeah. Got targeted for ads on YouTube. Okay. Chris Jenner is doing one. So she's <gasps> now part of the family. You know what? I did see that. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. But now they have a new updated Masterclass generic ad and they've got clips of mariah in there now oh good yeah okay finally she's been included finally, finally. good clips it's not like the last one or the in the corner there's like good footage of her oh good 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 now i hope i get targeted for those ads too now that we're talking yes you know and everybody's listening i know everyone <laughs> like, everyone okay. listening to this is going to get targeted now on youtube okay okay because uh you know i did hear that christina aguilera just did another one she did do another yeah. one which got me thinking do we need more ones from mariah well more lessons. Let's not count it out. Let's not count it out. I so, want it. Yeah, of course. It was so well done. Especially now we busted our um, subscription, you know, <laughs> canceling and all that mess. Yes. <laughs> They're going to get us the second time around. Exactly. Well, we at least now we know for sure it's worth it. Mm -hmm. Masterclass is brilliant. Mm -hmm. So there's so many good things to watch on there. There is. Like, I don't know if I would go and watch Kris Jenner, but like, it's just about branding. There. I mean, I guess she's good at that. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure I could learn something, but it's that would be like on the bottom of like my like to do list mm -hmm. of of lessons to take. But whatever. Well, she, now she's a colleague. Exactly, exactly. There you go. Yeah. So sitting in good company with Mariah. Uh huh. Um. So that's nice. Now we don't have much to talk about, but let's take a quick splash break, and we'll find some more to talk about. Yes, we will. All right.
The Mariah Report is supported by PodcastCBD.com. Use the promo code REPORT to get 10% off of any purchase and free shipping on orders over $50. Dan, I'm so excited to bring this product to our listeners because it's something that I've been taking for a while now. And at PodcastCBD.com, you can get something called Wild Gummies. They come in the raspberry flavor. They are delicious. Now, I've been hearing everybody in the streets talk about CBD this, CBD that, and I have no idea what CBD is. Think of it as a natural compound or even as a supplement that you add to your health regimen. So CBD is something that your body makes naturally, your brain makes it, especially after you exercise. And so taking a gummy uh, gives your body a boost. And I actually used to be a skeptic until I realized that I was doing it completely wrong. Well, how, what were you doing wrong? How are you supposed to do it right? So when I first tried it, I was just taking like one dose. I wasn't even measuring how much I was taking. I just tried it and hoped for the best and really nothing really happened at all. I didn't feel anything, didn't do anything. So I just thought it was bogus. However, somebody explained to me that what you need to do is measure how much you're taking. So for example, the gummies, the wild gummies, they are 25 milligrams a piece. And then so you know the the dose and then you take it daily to get the benefits. And what are the benefits of these CBD gummies? So the main one for me is that I used to have horrible sleep issues. I couldn't get to sleep, couldn't stay asleep. I would wake up in the middle of the night. I wasn't falling asleep until 2 a.m. It wasn't good. So I started taking these to help with that. And I found it really did help me fall asleep earlier. And I was able to stay asleep and I was waking up refreshed as well. That was the main benefit of it. And I also found it really helped with my anxiety that I had. It's brought me back from anxiety attack several times. It kind of just takes the edge off it. Again, nat- completely natural. And then the shocking thing that happened was it really cleared up a lot of my joint pain after a couple of weeks. Uh huh. And unlike taking a Tylenol or something like that, that just covers up the pain and temporarily relieves it, it actually got rid of the inflammation in, in my joints. Well, these benefits sound real yummy to me, so I might not need to go get some of these gummies. Yeah, so make sure you head over to podcastcbd.com, use the promo code REPORT to support this podcast, The Mariah Report, and get yourself some premium lab-tested hemp CBD products. Okay, we're back. We actually do have some more news. Yes, after a little bit of digging. We <laughs> well, I actually was I was going through social media and Lizzo is going on tour. She's doing a huge uh-huh. tour right oh, yeah. now. Her album just dropped. Did you listen to it? Uh, not yet. That's a no. That's a no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on other albums. I'm going to get to it. I, I Listen, I get it. I get it. I, li- I did listen to it because I was very interested. And, you know, it's cute. Oh, yeah? It's cute for a sophomore album, for sure. But I feel like... Mm, her first one was better, mm-hmm. but that's all right. I still love them there. And there are some cute songs on there. So that's usually the case. Cause you know, the first album, they've spent their whole life thinking about it, going, mm-hmm. working towards it. So it mm-hmm. all comes out in the first one. And then yeah. the second one, what do you do? Yeah. It's, I, I feel like it's a little forced. Mm-hmm. I, allegedly. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, she's going on tour. Okay. Special guest. Lotto. Ooh, so now you, wait a minute. So we're going to get big energy played in these big arenas. Or oh, big, big stadium, big um, venues. Now look at Lotto. Doing the Lord's work Look at us. her. See? That's big. Big. Because that's going to be a huge tour. Yeah. Oh, She's wow. She's doing the big ones. Madison Square Garden, all the things. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. All, hey, she better do it. Mm-hmm. She better do it. Who would have thought? This is where we need a Mariah <clears throat> screen moment. <clears throat> yes. People. Yes, Mariah on the screen in the back at the Lizzo Lotto tour. Uh huh. Okay, because that's the version everyone really wants to hear. I wonder if that's where we're going to see the video. What? Oh, the music. The video? missing video. There's no music video. I, I mean, there the is. The word but... on the street is it got it got recorded. Well, it's apparently been scrapped. Well, someone needs to dig it up and throw it in the Lizzo tour. Okay, that I would love that. I Chop it up. Love do that. something to it. Throw a filter on it. Yeah. Give it to Lotto. Yeah, because you know, like the the uh, the single cover, them in pink and everything. Yeah, that'd be cute for the background. Super cute in the video. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, hopefully they'll make it happen. Right. Yeah. Otherwise, it's a missed opportunity. Well, they love to miss an opportunity. They do. They love to miss an opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, so keep an eye out for that, or mm-hmm. go get yourself some tickets. Check it out. 
listen, that could be a great show. I, I think it'd be tons of fun. Yeah. And Lotto actually just came off. She just did her own tour. Like it's a small little tiny tour, but like now she's girl, girl mm-hmm. big time. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. Not mad at her mm-hmm. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I was never mad at her. I was like, whatever. She said whatever. Yeah. Well, she knows better now. So now she knows. Great. Mm-hmm. I love that. We've moved on. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyway, so that's happening. Is that when? When is that tour starting? Like fall? I think so. Okay. Tickets are on sale. All right. Well, it's going to be perfect time. Um, yeah. You know, just to get more Mariah out there because the holiday season will be coming. It's around the corner. It is right around the corner. Now we don't have like any big, you know, Apple TV or anything like that announced for this, you know, Christmas season. But we do. They learned to <laughs> keep it a secret. Don't you tell <laughs> don't them anything. <laughs> <laughs> until we know what's happening yeah. um but we do have the christmas book the um illustrated book the christmas princess yes that will be coming out uh which is uh co-written by michaela angela davis who did the memoir mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so that's gonna be fabulous yes and it's coming out in german oh yes uh-huh so it's gonna be a global situation oh honey we gotta get it all across the globe we're back in europe again yes please please yeah so that's something to look forward to i already just by looking at the cover you can tell it's gonna be super cute very cute yes i'll be curious about what the stories are yeah i mean i think it's gonna sort of follow mariah's little mariah's. Chris, little mariah's sort of christmas you know christmas with the gunkles or however you know that's you, gonna be cute do you think it'll be um audio booked yeah, but probably not read by Mariah. I don't know. I don't know. Do they do that with kids' books? Why not? I mean, why not? I guess I wouldn't know because I don't read kids' books. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they do, right? Maybe a cartoon? Mm. I don't know. What if it was a cartoon? That'd be super cute. That'd be cute. Remember that other Christmas movie, the cartoon one? That wasn't not bad. That was that. It was not bad. <laughs> no, no, no. With a little snowman? That was not bad. People who sleep in Little Snowman. I jam out to it. I will be bopping yeah, to a, a Little Snowman. It's a jam. I sure will. <laughs> it's a jam. It's one of the better songs that came out during that nightmare. <laughs> it is, era. actually. It is. So it is. I'm totally down for it. Yeah, it is. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, anyway, so we have that to look out for, too. So there's, yeah. like, stuff coming. Stuff's in the works. You know, it's, here in America, it's literally to where like midsummer towards the end of summertime everyone's taking breaks mm-hmm. nothing's going on mm-hmm. um you know people are yeah. laying low exactly so that's fine. except us do have the micro the magnifying glass out yes the magnifying glass and the microphones here we are yeah. we're reporting <laughs> sure is <laughs> so that's all we could dig up on our splash break but <laughs> <laughs> But you know what? You can actually hang out with us over at patreon.com slash the Mariah Report. Links are in the description. It supports this show, keeps the lights on around here, keeps the show going. And it's five bucks a month. You can cancel anytime. And there's tons of bonus content that is exclusive over there. Um, and it's global too, anywhere from around the world. I think basically anywhere yeah. from around the world, you can join. Yeah, exactly. And you can hear us talk about all kinds of things like non Mariah related. And all the juicy gossip, Uh all that kind of good stuff. What's going on in the streets? Yes, yes. What are these other people up to? Yes. All the craziness. Uh Uh-huh, uh-huh. The crime reports. Our own personal stories we tell as well. Oh, yes, yes. We did a whole Ancestry.com. Yes, we did. Last week. Oh, we got a good comment as well. Oh, we did? a scandal in the Ancestry. (gasps) Girl, I didn't see it. Patreons. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. okay, We got to go. We got to go. I forgot. I just remembered we have that. Um, (laughs) Okay, good. So come join us. It's a fun time. It supports this, as we just mentioned. Um, and we have a new perk. We upload the tape unedited. You hear all the bloopers, the mistakes, the fun bits, the nonsense. It's, uh, you know, when we have to scrap an entire episode and then like redo it, you get that, you too. get that too. <laughs> <laughs> Allegedly. Uh-huh. <laughs> and if you want to support the show for free, please go to your Apple podcast app and then scroll down a little bit past the episodes and leave a review. It helps the show a lot. Yes. And you can also subscribe on YouTube. You can. Yes, yes. You can see our beautiful faces as we're telling you these crazy stories about Mariah. And we're actually debuting some new artwork on YouTube. So go check it out. Mm-hmm. And while you're there, hit subscribe. Like we mentioned, we're almost at a thousand yes. subscribers. It's coming close, but on the edge. Yes, just hit the subscribe and smash the like. That's and right. Click the link. Yes. Tell your friends <laughs> all the things. Yes. But uh, we will be back next week with uh, whatever kind of dirt we can dig up. <laughs> Bye. Bye.
The Mariah Report is produced and edited by Dan Enriquez and Martin Burgess. Hosted by Dan Enriquez and Martin Burgess. Graphics created by Sean Mark. Theme music created by E. Reezy B. Thank you to the listeners who support the show on Patreon. If you'd like to show your support or for more information, visit the show notes in your podcast app.